this video is a top combos for Charlotte. Not sure about you, but I think it's one of the best tier 1 skin in the battle pass we ever had. I feel it's like an hybrid between Isabel and Tsuki. Hey there, welcome, my name is Turco. In this series, I'm showing you the top combos for very popular skins in Fortnite with a big focus on the battle pass skins. Each one of my combos have a very specific theme. Also, if you're the impatient type of person, just like me, there's a few timestamps in the description. Big brain. Let's start things off with combo number 1. Oh! Hey there, the first combo is called Warrior. Let's start things off with the back bling, it's called Ignition. It's basically the whiteout skin's back bling from the Vanishing Point set in Season 5. The bad news is the fact that it's not a free item, so you can buy it through the item shop. It's still one of my favorite all time. I think it's the back bling I use the most in Chapter 1 for sure. It's a super versatile back bling because it can fit with black and white combos super easily and also other shades of these colors, so for example, gray combos. The sword is super well designed, it has to be the highlight of this back bling. If you can't afford this back bling, I'm a savior because you know what? There's a good option. It's called Wolf Pack. But this is assuming that you played in season 6 of first chapter because it was in the battle pass. Next, I'm going with Scorcher, a season 7 battle pass item. I don't see this item too much lately, but uh, I still use it quite often. Obviously, the match with the back bling is really perfect here. Also, the flame animation adds a little spice to this combo. Plus, the sound is really nice. Sometimes people overlook the sound of a pickaxe, but I think it's one of the most important feature. Now with the glider, I chose Paper Plane. Once again, I'm sorry, it's not free. And since I'm a teacher in real life, I thought it was cool. But as you can see, it's a perfect fit here. It's gonna match pretty much all of your black and white combos. Also, it's not overly designed. It's quite clean. Another good option for the warrior combos I'm usually making is a falcon. Ah, uh, yeah, it's 1500 V-Bucks. It's still in my top three lighters. I mean, come on, he's carrying a sword. It's excellent here. And finally, let's complete this with a wrap. You know, there's always these items uh, in your locker that you completely forget, right? So that was the case for me with the 8-ball wrap. It was free, but in the battle pass of season 12, I believe, right? Uh, season 2, chapter 2, I think? Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Overall, 8-ball is quite classic, not too flashy, quite simple. Without a doubt, one of your best options for black and white combos. Obviously, it's not the only option you have. I'm thinking about Echoes, for example. And yes, this completes my warrior combo number 1. Boom! Next up, combo number two. I'm gonna call it dark and flashy. Okay, so it sounds contradictory. I get it. But the main idea was to have a Halloween theme combined with some flash. Boom! Yeah. We're starting with the glider this time. So it's called Swarm. It's been a while I didn't use that. For those who remember, it was part of the battle pass in the season six, uh, first chapter, obviously. It was included in the battle pass. What I really like about this one is the animation, for sure. The only thing I don't really like about this uh, glider is the fact that it can block your view. But overall, it was a good fit for this theme. Next up, the pickaxe. It's called Scratch Mark. It was part of the battle pass in season 7, the first chapter. Quite clean, quite small. There's a discrete animation I really like also. Plus, there are four styles. But to be honest, they all look the same. You have red, blue, default, and black yeah it was an easy match here mainly for the black color and now the back bling it's probably the highlight of this combo for sure it is called the book of spells volume 3 it's the item shop item it came with the isabel outfit also you get two styles from it one has a green glow and the other one is purple or pinkish if you're looking for a small animated and reactive back bling uh, it's one of the best there is but Shirko, how is it reactive? Good question. The answer is uh, when you kill someone, the book opens up and the pages are uh, swapping. I don't know how to say that in English. Scrolling? Well, they're basically moving, all right? Finally, the wrap. It's called Confetti. This one was free. It was unlockable in the Operation Snowdown around last Christmas. It does fit pretty well with the dark and flashy theme I got here. Also, if you pay close attention, you'll notice that the main colors on the wrap are almost the same as the ones on the back bling. And that wraps it up for combo number two. Oh! And now we're going with combo number three. It's Kev Kev. Kevin the Cube. I mean, who doesn't like Kevin the Cube? It's fair to say that it was natural to create a combo for Kevin the Cube. But just a heads up, the main color in this combo is not purple. The general intention for this combo was to have a dark or black vibe with some really subtle shades of purple. The very first item in this combo is called Webrella. It's one of the most simplistic and discreet umbrellas out there. Just in case, if this one doesn't ring a bell, you simply 
simply had to win in season 6 the first time Kevin was introduced to receive this Halloween-esque glider. Oh yeah, and by the way, I forgot to say that this whole combo is pretty much free. Simply because it was all unlockable items through challenges or the battle pass. With that being said, the next one is called QWERTY Axe. It's the pickaxe. I'm pretty sure that many of you guys unlocked this item not too long ago. In terms of design, I was not super keen about it. I could have chose many other safer options out there for sure. Honestly, I think it was the very first time I really used it. And to be honest, I was quite surprised. It's better than I expected. Not so much about the design of it, but mostly because of the animation when you swing it. There's like a colorful purple trail that comes with it, so it's perfect for this combo. Okay, so enough about this. The combo was about Kevin the Cube, right? Yeah, so basically, the back bling is called Lil Kev. It was unlockable in Season 6 through challenges. It's quite small. It doesn't block your view. It's also really good looking with the little bouncy eyes. The only thing is I was hoping there would be some kind of purple in it, but it's not uh, too apparent. Uh, I'm not sure, but I think it's non-existent on this one. But on the other hand, this is exactly what the next item brings. The wrap is called Kevin. Yeah. This one really looks like the Kevin we know. It's a really good mix of black and purple. It's also animated. It can basically fit with the vast majority of your purple combos. And also the black and darker ones for sure. Kevin the Cube combo number three. Yeah. Boom. By the way, if you like this video so far and you want more of these, uh, do this. Yeah, thank you. The next combo is for all of the sweaties out there. And I'm not including myself in that. But seriously, I'm not judging here. I know there's a huge audience of people that are really sweaty. And that will use very minimal and non-flashy combos. Hello, Star One. So, combo number four is called Minimal and Sweaty. First on the list is Go Bag, Season 9 Battle Pass item. Very, very underrated. There are three styles for it. Yellow, red, and teal variants. Whichever color you choose, you would be surprised on how it can fit with many options here. When you select the yellow style, it comes with a black back bling. Back back bling. Black back bling. Yeah. Okay, this back bling is a really good fit here. It still forced me to use some yellow in my next items. Yeah, I said yellow, but calm down here, Star One. I'm still not gonna choose you in the combo and that's why we have trusty number two as a pickaxe this item has two colors black and yellow this one satisfy all of the sweats out there because it is silent unlike you star one also it doesn't flash unlike you and there are no funny looking and weird animation unlike you 10 out of 10 fit here the next item is hyperboard from season 15 I think it was from the Alexa skin set. It is a good fit here. Why? Because it's really stealthy. It's mostly black. The dude is surfing. And it doesn't have some super flashy and colorful trail when you glide. So that way when you grind arena and there's 60 players in the ninth zone, no one will notice you. And since the team is minimal, sweaty and everything, let's complete this combo with a really simple rap. It's called Boogie Man. There's really not much to say here. It's a rap that is only black <laughs> yeah it's still a perfect fit you can't deny it it says this one was part of the john wick set i didn't buy anything from it i could be wrong i think it was unlockable through a challenge but once again you can let me know in the comments if i'm wrong anyways it's still black it's minimal it's sweaty all right it completes combo number four minimal and sweaty boom combo number five uh this one is gonna be really cheesy this one is called eight ball set i actually really feel bad about this combo because it was so easy to do same time i was like there's probably people out there that only want a black and white combo so why not okay let's not waste time here look at the combo there's eight ball janky here yeah the pickaxe is called bank shots from season 11 and by the way you can select this variant eight ball or even scratch it's still gonna fit very good from the same set we have crazy eight glider the name of the set is Stripes and Solids, by the way. I don't know why it's not 8-Ball, but... Last but not least, we have the 8-Ball Wrap, yeah! And finally, this combo doesn't cost you anything, assuming you played Battle Passes from Season 11 to now. This completes combo number 5, a black and white or 8-Ball set combo. Let's go! Boom! You're still watching and you're new? Oh. Yeah, nice move! Yeah. If you saw the last video of this series, you will know that there is a bonus combo coming, right? If you didn't see the video, there's gonna be a card right here, I think, yeah. 
click. The basic idea with the bonus combo is to create my personal favorite combo from all of the items that we saw. Actually, I'll be cheating because uh, the pickaxe was not introduced uh, previously. <laughs> Its name is Shadow Caliper, it's from the Shadow series in the item shop. Black and white color scheme, so it's really versatile. My favorite thing about this one is probably the white, it's kind of glowing. If you do have it, I'm pretty sure that you use it regularly as well. The next three items were all chosen previously. My pick was Webrella, like I said earlier, I really like it. But the choice was mostly because I wanted to match it with the Shadow Caliper pickaxe. By the way, I'm the kind of person that really enjoys colorful and dynamic uh, combos. So when something is reactive or has some kind of flash to it, I'm usually picking it for sure. We continue with the back bling, it's a Book of Spells Volume 3 from Isabel. Like I said earlier, it reacts when you kill someone. I didn't try the second style with it, but uh, I would be curious to see the green uh, animation. But anyway, to complete this combo, it was natural to select Kevin Rap, mostly because it was a good color match uh, with the back bling. And I would finish by saying that the gun wrap is probably the safest bet you have when you select something that is flashy in your combos. Yeah. We've seen six combos today and I would be curious to know, guys, which one was your favorite? Drop them in the comments. This was the second episode of the series. Any kind of feedback is greatly appreciated. If you think this video was cool and helpful, click the like. And also you should watch the playlist of this series. It's here or here, I don't know, but alright, bye. Ooh.